I'm diabetic, so this could kill me, and we don't know yet. I don't know, you guys. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I just, I just had a daughter about three weeks ago. Actually, a month ago. Thank you. Thank you for the clap. Easiest way to get some claps is telling you had a baby. No, like, so I just had a daughter, and I was really hoping that she came out as Puerto Rican. Because now I have to pay for the paternity test. Hey, guys, I still wake up every Saturday morning in my underwear with a bowl of cereal and I watch Saturday, Saturday morning cartoons. Do I look like I should be responsible for a newborn? I don't think so. I don't know, you guys, whatever. Whatever. Great crowd, great crowd. I, uh, no, it, it's my kid. I love her to death. She's got my eyes, my nose, and my vagina. I'm just so glad she doesn't have her mother's vagina. Because that thing is wrecked. <laughs> that thing looks like Freddy Krueger got burnt twice. Oh. It's cool. I can say that she wrote that joke so you guys can laugh. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. No, uh, this is my second kid. Uh, my, my first kid, uh, she's seven years old and she says like the weirdest stuff you guys will ever hear. Uh, the other day she goes, she informed me that her mother is pregnant. Her mother and I aren't together anymore. I'm like, yeah, she told me that. It's like, Daddy, it looks like she has a giant air bubble. I'm like, yeah, that's where the baby's at. She goes, once if I just took a pair of scissors and popped it. I said, baby, you're probably talking to a special doctor for the next 12 years. My kid's demented. It's my kid. No, she, uh, we were in uh, the toy store. We were at Walmart the other day, and uh, I've turned my daughter into a nerd. She loves comic books. She loves all the superhero shit. And we're looking at the boys' toys, and she goes, Daddy, I wish I was a boy. I said, yeah, me too, but we both have to live with that disappointment. <laughs> but no, I, I asked her. I asked her, I said, why do you want to be a boy? And she goes, well, I got two reasons. Number one, they have the better toys. And number two, they can do more than women. You guys, my daughter gets it. She gets it. Ooh. I get that. Yeah, she's the one who said it. I didn't introduce her into those values. I don't know where she came up with that. She said it at Walmart. Uh, the other day, she got a little confused. She said, Daddy, can you make me a daughter? I said, no, because that's legal. But this is the state of Iowa. They might let that slide. <sighs> my daughter's always telling me, Dad, you need, to, you need to tell my jokes on stage. And I'm like, no, you need to write better. I don't know. You guys want to hear one of my daughter's jokes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, knock, knock. Pokemon. Dad, you're going to die alone on the toilet. <laughs> she loves me, I swear. I swear. So. Oh. Anybody here single? All right. Well, I'm not asking because I'm trying to pick you up. I just want to know. Helps me go into my next joke. So no? All right, that's cool. I recently just got back on Tinder. Not really just for the sake of this joke, though, I did. And I've been getting some weird messages on Tinder. Uh, a lady the other day said, uh, how do you feel about ritual suicide? I said, as long as it's for good cause, I'll try anything once. The other lady said, hey, I just want to let you know you caught my eye. And I was like, oh, I hope I gave that back. That shit's gross. <laughs> the next lady I actually wanted to take out because she was actually very clever. She goes, hey, I just wanted to let you know you look like Heath Ledger. My heart stopped. I felt, I felt that was great because I'm looking at me. Do I look like he doesn't know? And she goes, now. And I was like, I was like, too soon? <laughs> I think so. So school shootings, am I right, you guys? Yeah. So I feel like Hitler was onto something. Can we all agree with that? No. I just want to do something about these hipsters, man. They're pissing me off. You guys ever wonder if eating a rare steak is like going down on a woman, a woman when it's that time of month? Month? It's both chewy and bloody. No, you guys go ooh. But next time you're at Outback Steakhouse and you're order, you're sitting there with your girl and you're ordering a steak, you're like rare, and she's smiling at you, and you're like, no, oh, I guess I'm not getting this metallic taste out of my mouth tonight. <laughs> there's so much blood in steak, you guys. Oh, 
What else can I talk about, you guys? Ladies, let me tell you something. I don't care whoever tells you, no matter how many gummy bears you put up your butt, you will never have a sweet ass. I walked into Walmart yesterday and in the bathroom right next to the pee stall, it says, I hate Blake people. I thought to myself, can you take racism serious if it's misspelled? Like, what, am I gonna walk into McDonald's and then I says, I hate figs? How can you hate that fruity, delicious treat? Like, come on. <coughs> Guys, answer me this question. How come cars can put SS on them, but I get it tattooed on my neck and I'm the racist? I guess it is all about that font. All right, might as well end on a high note, you guys. I want to win the lottery. I think all of us want to win the lottery at some point in our life. Um, but I feel like if I win the lottery, I'm going to do the good thing, and I'm going to give back to, like, third world countries. And I'm, but I'm talking, like, hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm going to give back to third world countries by putting high Vs in those third world countries. Because I feel like they need that helpful smile in every aisle. Right? <laughs> But I'm sorry if you go to Africa, you have to spell it H-I-V. All right, you guys, I am Tom Gallagher. You guys have a great night. <laughs>